here are the shelves I've built. It's got three three main areas with each little sub boxes, three sub boxes in each one. It's been gone. It's gone pretty well, but the last part where two is how to install the the quarter round the toe strip that will go in here to cover up, make these clean. Up here you can kind of see it's pretty straightforward. We'll just do it straight down, not a big deal. But then for these down here, we're gonna want to have it come in like so. Have this one come in from the top, and then have another one come in from the side, and we want them to all line up there in the corner, and that's the challenge. The first thing I did is try a prototype. I tried a couple different things and decided the best would be to go ahead and lay out the corners here, do it straight, easy cuts, you know, nice and nice and flat, nice and straight, goes up against the side on both sides, and then found out then tried to cut uh, cut my corner be able to go in slide over so that looks like it will fit and then I cut another one over here to slide down on top so that looks you know all three of them meet it looks fairly clean I'm pretty happy with how that turned out so the few things I've, I've learned from my prototype are that I'm planning to apply is that I'm going to do the 45 cut on the corner to the inside for this long piece across here. I've already cut it here. I just need to go ahead and cut the, the corners on the inside. One thing I noticed is if you look at it, it looks like a straight 45 degree cut on top. I've already coped it out, but you come along the side here and you can definitely see how it slopes and will follow the, the shape. And on this one, I went ahead and use my coping saw and cut out the inside so you can see that it looks a little nasty on the inside but on the outside it looks nice and pristine and it just slides in there extremely extremely well so now my next step is I'm gonna go ahead and lay out all the base along here I'm gonna use this one cut it on the 45 coming in 45 coming in cope it out on the insides, lay it in there, and then I'll worry about the, the trickiness on this one. This one's a little more difficult because you've got to cut it in on both sides and then cope it out. Uh, so this one's probably the most tricky, so I'll leave that one and I'll do that one at the end. All right, let's dig in. So we'll take the one, we're starting from the left side here, lining it up, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna Typical, this one's straightforward, easy cut. Line it up right there at the edge, on that inner edge, and then we'll just do the, the 45 cut. All right, there's the 45 degree cut with the miter saw. Pull it out. You can, again, see 45 right now. I definitely haven't used the coping saw on it yet. And we'll do the, the same to the other. Alright, swing this around. This way you only need a single bevel miter saw. Or you got another little contraption that will do the same thing. Line it up. We're going to the right side is now cut. We're going to do the coping saw. Here, just going to follow the, the line around here, start up here on the corner, get as close as possible, make sure we've got a back cut there, and then just follow it around. All right, here it is. After we've coped it out, you can kind of see how the cut should look and how it might lay in there. We got a little, this came off, and this will be on the underneath side, so it won't, shouldn't matter. Looks good. Next side. All right, the other ones now should be cut out. Let's lay it in and see if it works. All right, here's the moment of truth. Lay that in there. Looks like we've got a little, a little raise on that side. I don't think it was because it was cut all the way. You can see there, so I'll try and finish that off. And then, but other than that, we can nail that down a little bit if we need to caulk. We can do that too, so we've got other options. So I'll try cleaning that up, and then it should lay in really well, and then we can focus on the size, the complicated part. 
All right, this one is framed down out here at the base. I also did the second one. This one, like I showed before, it should fit in there very nicely. Right now it's too short. So my thought now is because now this is framed out, I can get this cut right and then I can lop off whatever is remaining. I'll leave a little extra in case I need to do it a couple times and then it should firm up and then I'll take another shot. Okay, all right. We're gonna start up here, quarter round. The base at, at the base here and the other flat part up at the, the back stop here. Line it up right at the corner. I'm gonna bring it down. You don't have to be too exact if you have more on that side. You can just basically cut it here. We'll just be pedantic and do it. All right, here's the, now here's the trick. We lift it up, we'll rotate it over for 45, and then rotate it simply that way, and then line it up down to the base. And there, and get a nice, very straight cut. And then we'll just cope this out starting up here and then cope both sides. All right, we'll cope starting here and just follow it around. I'll cut it all the way through. And then just do the same thing. We'll cut off this little part right here. Okay, so you can see the cut here. You can see nice curved out, curved out. The others underneath sides kind of ugly, but that doesn't matter. Now we'll just set in there, just to eyeball. Looks like it'll fit nice, very nice. And then, and then up here we'll just cut this off right there. And here's what the finished product looks like. I haven't nailed or glued this down yet but here's how it'll look and now we'll have the whole thing framed out and I need to finish off that side and that side this one's almost done so it looks good